So uh, thank you everybody for, um, for staying and uh, joining me in um, the 2014 OPPI Awards and Scholarship Ceremony. This is a really special chance for us to celebrate our colleagues our young, uh, young planners and our students, but also our friends, and really able to celebrate their accomplishments, not only this year, but over very successful academic careers and um, professional careers. So this is a very important uh, time in our agenda, and um, I hope that you will join me in celebrating with our award winners. I'm gonna start with the 2014 student scholarships. And so at this time, I'd like to make sure that um, all three of the scholarship winners uh, come to the front of the room. I think everybody's here as well as the uh, honorees. Um, Marianne, are we gonna have them up on the stage or just? Okay, so I'd like to ask um, Kyle and um, Anand and George and Mary Lou and Ron to, uh, to join us uh, up on stage and uh, that will make our proceedings go effectively. While they're doing that, I'll just let you know that OPPI's uh, student members are a very important part of our future. As Paul mentioned earlier, we've sort of had that time where the millennials are, um, uh, are surpassing the baby booners. So the student scholarships are very, very important. And these scholarships are given out to promising students who show not only a dedication to the profession, but also a dedication to their community. And uh, it's our pleasure to, uh, to recognize them today. I'm going to start with the winner of the Gerald Crothers Graduate Scholarship. Kyle Miller is the 2014 winner. OPPI's Gerald Crothers Graduate Scholarship is named for our long-standing member who has made a very significant contribution to the Institute. Gerald has been um, a member and a volunteer and is a, a fellow of the Canadian Institute of Planners. He has a very special interest in planning education, which is particularly fitting for uh, having a scholarship named in, in his honor. Unfortunately, Gerald could not be here with us today, um, although I have heard that he does uh, not only send his congratulations to Kyle, but also assures us that uh, next year in Toronto, he's going to make every effort uh, to be there, a little bit closer to home for him. So Kyle, um, I'd like you to step forward. Um, Kyle is a native of Halifax, Nova Scotia. He has been long fascinated with the unique challenges facing waterfront cities. After receiving his undergraduate degree in aerospace engineering, um, Kyle began extensively studying urban planning issues and um, he was very inspired by uh, the work with the Venice Project Center and Kyle enrolled in the Masters of Science Planning Program at the University of Toronto in 2013. His research to date has examined Toronto's undergraduate path network public consultations related to the island airport expansion and the user demographics of uh, t uh, Toronto's 311 system. In his final year of studies, Kylie is going to be comparing ongoing waterfront development initiatives uh, in Halifax and uh, in Toronto. So please join me in, in congratulating Kyle on this scholarship. I'd now like to present the Ronald M. Keeble Undergraduate Scholarship, and Anand Balram is the 2014 winner. OPPI's Ronald M. Keeble Undergraduate Scholarship is named for our wonderful long-standing member, Ron Keeble. Uh, <laughs> I know that many of you know Ron and, um, and uh, know of his uh, outstanding uh, work on behalf of the Institute. He's certainly one of the planning profession's biggest champions, and um, he has taught planning for many years at Ryerson. I know that some of you in the crowd have had Ron as a professor, um, and um, we can't uh, say enough about the contributions that Ron has made, and it really is a uh, um, fitting that we have this undergraduate scholarship named in his honor. So Anan and, and uh, Ron, please step forward. We'll do the presentation. Anand is an undergraduate uh, planning student at the University of Waterloo. He has learned a great deal about the environment uh, and as a future planner, he hopes to one day make a positive contribution in the creation of sustainable cities. 
um, that are planned uh, in an intergenerational uh, quality in mind. Anand has a keen interest in studying the ties between climate change, transportation, and urban design. And his last two cooperative education terms, he worked for the Transportation and Strategic Planning Department for the City of Ottawa, as well as doing development review as it pertains to water services in the regional municipality of Waterloo. So congratulations, Anand. The next scholarship is the Mary Lou Tanner President's Scholarship. As you remember, Mary Lou is our, um, our immediate past president. And George Lou is the winner. Uh, and the Mary Lou Tanner President Scholarship is offered in recognition of Mary Lou's uh, outstanding service and leadership when she was OPPI president. She has a long-standing interest in active transportation as a core element of planners' professional commitment uh, to creating healthy communities. And this scholarship is intended to recognize a student member who is making an important contribution in the field of planning for healthy communities and active transportation. George Liu was the chair of the Student Liaison Committee from 2013 to 2014, and he worked very hard to convey the strong link between students' success and the whole professional networking um, aspect of, of our profession. As a member of the Toronto District Leadership Team, he helped to organize many events and, across the city. Uh, his focus of his work at York University's MES planning program was in active transportation, and above all else, he considers himself an avid and enthusiastic cyclist. Um, of all of these things, among others, uh, make George a very deserving of the 2014 Mary Lou Tanner President Scholarship. Congratulations, George. <laughs> Next year, we do once again hope to uh, award the Ronald M. Keeble Undergraduate Scholarship and the Gerald Carruthers uh, Graduate Scholarship, and we encourage all members, uh, student members, to apply. And I'm also pleased to announce that next year, we're going to be introducing a new scholarship, a scholarship that is named in recognition and recognizing the long-term con contributions of Ian J. Lord. And the Ian J. Lord Scholarship is going to be offered in recognition of Ian's long-standing service to OPPI. Some of you may know that uh, Ian has been uh, legal counsel for OPPI and its predecessors, the Central Ontario Chapter of the Canadian Institute of Planners, so we're going back in time, and, uh, and also the Ontario Association of Planners. So he started doing this for us back in 1978. Uh, and it's continued uh, until December of 2013, and we um, are just so lucky to have had his expertise at our disposal. And this scholarship will be intended to recognize student member who has demonstrated an aptitude, but also a keen interest in municipal and planning law. So um, I'm not sure, Paul, does Ian know about this yet? Were you able to reach him? I think he's on like motorcycle expedition in Spain someplace. So I'm not sure if we got this information message to him or not, but um, you all know, and if you happen to run into him, I know Mr. Cronus, you might be able to get a message and let him know that we are going to be particularly honored um, to have a scholarship in his name awarded next year. Okay, I'm going to move on now to the Member Service Awards, and um, I'm going to let you know that, as no surprise to you, OPPI is a volunteer organization, and the members are the face of our profession. They are the face of this institute, and uh, their skills and their dedication is really what makes this organization tick. And they give so generously of their time and uh, their talents, and it is very important for us to recognize them. Today we're honoring five of those members, and I would like them um, to join me on the stage now. Troublemaker Paul Cronus has been uh, doing this for a long time. So Paul, Jennifer Passy, Christine Newbold, Valerie Cramner, and we do have one uh, award winner, Steve Willis, who was not able to make it here today. So I'm going to start with Paul. Paul has been an active member of OPPI for many years. He is the current chair of the Discipline Committee, so you really don't want to actually to have any, uh, any interaction with Paul. Um, but he's 
previously been a member of the committee since 2009. He was also the director of professional practice and development. And in his role as the discipline, on the discipline committee, he's been responsible for responding to many complaints, responding to conduct uh, of members in, in order to ensure the professionalism of the organization is maintained uh, while the public is protected. The Discipline Committee has sole authority over matters relating to OPPI's members, uh, professional code of practice, and as the chair of the committee, Paul has demonstrated a great ability to balance the interests uh, of this very difficult role. So please join me in recognizing Paul's contributions to OPPI. Next we have Jennifer Passy, and uh, Jennifer has been involved in OPPI and particularly the Southwest District since 1998, uh, including stints as the Program Committee uh, and Chair of the Southwest District. Um, she has always been a very active member uh, who attends events and um, is always willing to help out and engage and get other people involved. Um, her warmth and her generosity are known by all who have been, had the ability to interact with her. Um, I learned yesterday in, in more detail than my notes were suggesting, but that Jennifer has um, single-handedly organized uh, an event in Southwest uh, District, or almost single-handedly, which is the annual um, curling bond spiel. I don't know if any of you in the audience have had an opportunity to attend. I see a curler in the back. Excellent. Oh, some more curlers in the front. So um, some of you may know that uh, this has been one of Jennifer's babies over the years, and um, through Jennifer's uh, um, un relenting dedication to this event. For over 12 years, they have raised a substantial uh, amount of money for the Southwest District uh, Student Scholarship um, Fund. And I also learned that Jennifer is very adept at making chili for all of the participants in the curling bond spill. So if you ever need a recipe um, for, uh, for chili for a lot of people, an entire army, my notes say, um, you can talk to Jennifer um, about that. Um, so I want to ask you to join me uh, in congratulating Jennifer. Christine is up next. So Christine Newbold has been involved as a volunteer uh, in OPPI activities for the last 10 years. She was involved in the initial discussions to set up the Western Lake Ontario District of OPPI uh, and was a member of that first executive for the district. She is currently vice chair of the district leadership team and has de uh, demonstrated outstanding service to the institute um, and has played a key role in establishing and the operation of the district activities in our new structure. She demonstrates exceptional uh, service to OPPI and is a model of volunteerism, not only to OPPI, but to the community. She more than um, uh, anything deserves this recognition and thank I want to ask you to help me uh, congratulate uh, Christine. <laughs> Next, we have Val. And Val Cramner has, uh, for, for almost 20 years, uh, provided volunteer service to OPPI. And she has been uh, an example of not only organizational uh, and leadership skills in all roles, she has been uh, secretary and president of, of OPPI 1998 to 2000. She's been a member of CIP National Council, chair of the International and Export Development Committee, and um, that role uh, on, the, on the national stage is certainly one that takes a lot of time and dedication. Val was also the founding member of the Executive Committee for the Oak Ridges District of OPPI from 2007 to 2013, contributing to that initial com uh, uh, committee organizational structure, member recruitment, as well as assisting in the uh, organization of many district events. Um, on a personal note, I want to say that Val has been a wonderful mentor to me personally, and I think that she, she is just one of these people who just shines what we want to be talking about, informal volunteerism and informal mentorship and, and what an impact that that plays for, for planners that are coming up through their career. So thank you, Val, from my personal perspective as well.
Our last uh, honoree today is uh, Stephen Willis, and Steve was not able to be here today, but I'll just say a couple of words uh, about Steve. He's been involved in OPPI on many different levels over the years. He has always provided his ongoing support uh, and commitment to, to the profession of planning and to the Institute. He has been the program chair for the OPPI conference that was held in uh, Ottawa in 2011 and was an APA liaison representative for OPPI. He has been a speaker at many OPPI events. He has written many articles for the journal and, and has been a long-standing volunteer and served uh, as an examiner for, um, for OPP exams uh, and on the Central Districts Program Committee for many years. And uh, we will make sure that um, Stephen gets his, uh, his certificate. So that concludes the Member Service Awards, and um, I want uh, to ask you to join me once again in congratulating all of our winners tonight. So with that conclusion, I'd like to draw your attention to uh, the future and to 2015. And as Paul already mentioned, uh, the 2015 conference is going to be in Toronto and um, it's going to be another dynamic event. And we're going to be focusing on four major themes and themes that were really brought to, um, to the forefront by you and by, by the members um, in terms of what you want to hear about, what you want to have an opportunity to focus your professional learning on and uh, to hear more about. So we're going to be focusing on economics and finance, political administrative interface, we're going to be talking about the fundamentals of community design and trends in zoning. You can expect to participate in a variety of interactive and educational sessions, um, much like you're experiencing uh, this week, and also a number of walking uh, tours uh, that are based around these themes. Um, as Paul mentioned, the conference will be uh, October the 6th to the 8th at the Allstream Center, which is uh, the, the conference center at Exhibition Place. And uh, it's really going to be an exciting and dynamic event. If the symposium registration is any uh, indication, uh, we expect the 2015 conference to also be sold out. So start watching early and maybe start putting the seed uh, in the mind of people who are going to be uh, doing scheduling and budget approvals that you're going to want to attend that event. I'm very pleased to, um, to let you know that the conference chair will be Ms. Audrey Bennett. Um, many of you know Audrey from her work at the Ministry of Municipal Affairs and Housing, and we are so um, thankful that the ministry has, um, has agreed to uh, allow uh, Audrey to have the opportunity to participate because it is going to be uh, a significant contribution for her, and um, to have the ministry as, uh, as a supporter of that initiative is very, very important to us as a profession. She's, Audrey has been a long-standing OPPI volunteer and has contributed very much to advancing the profession and we um, can't um, say enough about the value that she is going to bring to that 2015 Planning Knowledge Exchange Conference team. The call for presentations is coming out soon, so if you are interested in being a presenter at the conference next year, um, watch for that announcement. Um, and there will also be information on the website uh, very shortly about registration um, or how to become a sponsor because um, obviously partnerships and sponsors are an important part of delivering our program uh, for all of you. So this concludes our awards um, and sponsorships presentation. Um, I encourage you to um, all join us this evening at Elements and um, enjoy some additional social time. So thank you very much.